Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. In today's video, I thought I would share some simple tips and tricks that you can use whenever you're applying paint to the walls uh, for your mood board designs. So if you wanna be able to build out a full room design and show your client what those colors are gonna look like, keep watching. I'll show you how you're gonna add paint colors to the walls, how to distort them on the side walls, and how to handle cases where you have to apply paint around windows. I'm also gonna show you how you can quickly uh, change out all of your paint colors once you have your swatches in place so that you can test out a variety of different paint colors really quickly. So let's go ahead and we'll get started. Now, I've already added, in, uh, added my empty room image here. So one of the first things that I wanna do is just lock this image down so that it's not gonna move on me as I'm adding paint colors to the walls or any other items that I kind of include within this design board. Over here on the right side panel, you're gonna see that you've got your paint color library. And these are the collections that are currently available. So you can jump into any collection and browse the full collection that's available. And you can also search by color name or by color code. You can also just browse if you like. And when you find a color that you like, just go ahead and drag it out onto your design board. And you would do that by just clicking the left button, clicking and holding the left button on your mouse and dragging it out and then releasing it. Now, the first thing that I would do, and I'll just zoom in here so you can see what I'm up to. Um, the first thing that I would do is just line up my paint swatch with the top corner of the back wall. And then I'm going to click uh, one of the corners and just drag it out so I can scale it up to the full height of the wall. Once I've done that, I'm gonna use the distort tool over here in the toolbar on the left hand side. And I'm just going to then click on the top corner, drag this paint swatch all the way out, click on the bottom corner and drag it out so it fills the full wall. Once I've done that, I can hit apply and we can then drag out our next paint swatch and we're gonna apply it to this side wall. So same, same tips or same technique applies. We're just gonna line up the paint swatch. We're gonna scale it up to the full height of the wall and then again, what we'll do is we'll use the distort tool and we're just going to pull on those corners so that we're covering the entire uh, wall space with this particular paint color, just like that. Now, in this case, if I zoom in a little bit, I think I'm just going to adjust this one slightly just so it's a little bit farther up. So I'm just gonna match up my points here. And what we can do here is um, now that I've added in these two paint swatches, if you're feeling like this is looking a little bit flat, um, here's a good tip that you can use. Click on the paint swatch and go over to the uh, toolbar on the left-hand side, click into the image adjustment option and take your transparency down to maybe 85%. When you do that, it's gonna allow for the shadows in the corners to start to pull through the paint color and you'll also see any sunspots on the walls. So it's gonna make it a lot more realistic. So I'll do the same thing over here. We're just gonna take this down to 85% and that's already looking much better here. So if I zoom out, I can kind of see all of those shadows and the, uh, the light spots that are coming through. So the next thing that I could do here is um, I could just drag another paint swatch out and apply it to this wall. Um, or if I want, just to speed up the process, I could click on this one. I could duplicate it, flip it, and then drag it over here and apply it to the wall. And we can just make any minor adjustments if needed. And actually that's not, that's not too bad. I probably could take it out just a little bit maybe. It's not too bad. Okay, so we'll leave that on there. Now, obviously I have covered up the windows. I did this on purpose because honestly, it is, it's gonna be a real pain if you're trying to piece together a bunch of paint swatches where there's one going across the top and two down the side and one across the bottom. It's just gonna look really messy. So what you wanna do is you wanna just add the entire, like one paint swatch to fill the entire wall. And then we're gonna double click on our empty room image. We're gonna unlock it. And then we're gonna duplicate the empty room image. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna cut out this window and layer it on top of the paint swatch. And the way I would do that is by using the background removal tool over here in the toolbar. And then I'll switch to the manual option. I'm gonna zoom right in here, move these over so I can see the window. And then I'm just going to click make, to make my first point. And then I can trace out this window and we're just going to apply this directly on top of the paint swatch. So it's much faster and easier than trying to piece together a bunch of paint swatches. You'll know if you've completed the trace and done it correctly if it goes from red to black. Then just hit save image. You've got your window over here. 
I'm gonna click on the uh, paint swatch. I'm going to use the transparency tool just to bring it down a bit so I can see where I need to place this window. And then I can just slide it into place and use my left, right, and up, down arrows to get it perfectly aligned. Now I've got to do this other one over here as well. So basically what we're gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this paint swatch or this window. I'm gonna go back into the background removal tool. I'll reset the trace here. I'll zoom back in and I'm just gonna trace the next window. So we'll click to add a point and then just move the mouse, click to add a point on each of these corners here. And I just need to make sure that I am closing off my trace by clicking on that very first point that I added. Then we'll hit save. We're gonna shift this over here, line it up with our left, right, and up, down arrows on our keyboard. And then again, click the paint swatch and we're gonna bring this back up to 85%. Now, here's what's cool. Let's say that you've done this work and you've decided that this isn't the, exact, this isn't the right paint color for this uh, space and you wanna try different colors. Well, the great thing is that you can literally just click and drag a paint swatch on top of the one that's on the wall and it will fill it with that color. So you're not gonna have to you know, scale things up and distort paint swatches each time you wanna apply a color. You can just drag it out and fill the walls and see what that looks like. And if you're not sold on that, just keep on dragging out paint colors until you feel like you've landed on the one that's the perfect fit for your design. So I hope you found the uh, tips in this video helpful. If you do have any questions about applying paint to walls or any questions at all about using the mood board editor, then always feel free to reach out to us on the live chat. We're always happy to help.